we go. You gonna say hello? Okay. Good girl. You wave in right. Come sit on my lap. Hi, guys. And oh, where's the camera? Here we go. We'll we'll get. Hello and welcome to Learning with Livy. My first attempt at vlogging. I guess this is Livy or Olivia, as her name is. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I I apologize. Basically, what we're doing today is we're going to be doing a tadpole crate, which is a um, science and learning crate for toddlers aged 0 to 36 from the Kingdom Company. It gives them little tasks to help them with their scientific learning. So all the way from like babies to, to teens. I'm not 100% sure what the other ones are. This is the first time that I've gotten it. But we will we will see. So my plan was to do a sort of unboxing first. I, as you can see, I've already opened it because when I got it, I was too excited to wait. And then um, you'll see Olivia and I do at least one of the activities that's that's in there. So let's begin. So here we go. We'll just open this up. Now the first thing that's in there, oh, if I can get this, there we go, is a magazine. As you can as you can see. So what this does is it kind of explains the basic premise of what the box is, how to do um, how to do the activities, why you're doing the activities, and um, it also at the back, if I could get to the right page, um, shows you how to continue these kind of basic scientific skill sets in everyday life, which is super cool. Right, next you have the um, the activity card. So there are two activities in in this box. And it tells you the developmental skills, as you can see down here. And, like, how to how to do it. And and all, so, all sorts, which is pretty neat. Right, what have we got here? So we've got... I'm guessing this is for the sorting game. Oops, we don't want that. You've got the, um... The, the bits for the sorting game as well. A oh, why do you know it came with a book? Oh, it's called Olive. And sometimes we call Olivia Olive because we're terrible parents. <laughs> we're not, I promise. But um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, oh, these are quite heavy duty, actually. They're really good. So this is the, um, the cutouts for um, the stained glass activity, I'm guessing. A fishing pole, if I could just, which is which is good because this is felt, so it's not even magnets. This is really resourceful, actually. Um, what is this? I'm guessing this is like the pond for the for the fishing activity, and then um, I'm not. Oh, these are the um, probably the bits to do on the stained glass, and then that's it. Very nice. So we've got all of that. I didn't lay it out nicely. Hang on. There we go. Now it's all, all, all laid out very pretty. And this is what we're going to be doing today. I think we'll probably start with the ocean sort game and see how that goes. So the basic skill this box focuses on is sorting and identifying. As you can see, Olivia likes to sort and line up her toys, which it says in the magazine is the beginning of this science skill emerging. What I was hoping would happen was that Olivia would try and line up the felt creatures after she finished them like you saw with the Paw Patrol and the food items. It didn't work out that way though. At first Olivia had fun experimenting with the fishing rod and the felt shapes and how they fit together and then she wanted to put all of the shapes on the chair. I didn't want to direct her play too much at this point. Um, I thought it was more important that she familiarised herself with the objects and had fun to begin with. What I really like about this um, activity is that it's possible to do it freestyle, like you can see here, but try and do it more structured with the components as I'm about to attempt to do with Olivia. Here we go. So we're going to sort out all of the stars. So you tell me if this is a star. So is this a star? A chase star. That's two stars. Well done. I can't see you. Olivia, is this a star? What is this? Very good. So it's not a star. So you put that over here. 
Because we only want no! the stars at the moment. No, you want the fish. Okay. Uh, the fish is not like the stars, is it? Because we're trying to find the same. We're trying to match and identify. So here we go. So we got so we got the stars, we've got a fish. What's this one? Star. Yeah, so should we put that with the other stars? We put all the stars yeah. together. Good girl. Now what's this one? Olivia, what's this one? What is it? Panda. It's not a panda. What's that one? This is a turtle. Can... Turtle. Yeah, so we put the turtle over here with the fish. What's this one? What's this one? It looks like it looks like this one. Is it a fish? Fish. No, it's not a fish. Turtle. Very good. Right, so this is a star. Star. Okay, so these are both green. Can you say green? Green star. Star. Okay, shall we find another orange star? Orange star. There's an orange star. Orange star. And there's just a pile of, of more. Oh, that's great. So after that last clip, Olivia decided all she wanted to do was pile the shapes up. I didn't want to push her into sorting the shapes, as that would have taken away the fun of the activity. She's still quite young as we're approaching her second birthday, so she doesn't quite understand it all yet. That's completely fine, as this is a game that we can keep coming back to and using to work on her sorting and matching skills. The second activity in the box was a stained glass art activity. Now, I was supposed to let Olivia sort the tissue paper by colour before we started, but Olivia was impatient and she just likes to be arty sometimes, so I did the colour sorting for her. As you saw in the unboxing bit, there are actually two creatures for the stained glass portion. I let Olivia choose and she wanted the fish, so that's what we did. The plan is to save the turtle and maybe in six months I'll get this box out again and do a comparison to see how Olivia fares with both tasks as she's developed more. As you can see, we started doing this task together, but once Livy got the hang of it, she wanted to do it all by herself. She's quite an independent child, so I'm used to this. It's funny to get it caught on camera though. <laughs> So while Olivia finishes the fish, I wanted to take a moment to review the tadpole crate from Kiwi Kai. So for one month it's about £15 in British uh, pounds obviously, with £8 shipping. Luckily you get the first month free. The quality of items is really good. It's all sturdy materials that won't give in easily to a toddler's destructive whims, so you really do seem to get great value for money. The activities included definitely aren't a one-time use deal, which is great. I definitely want to get another one. Olivia seemed to really enjoy the box too. The only thing we haven't done is read the book, but this is because this was all filmed in the morning before nap time. We spent just over an hour doing both things, although the stained glass fish only took about 8 minutes. So thank you Mima at Mima Varga on Twitter for showing me this box, it's great. I hope I said your name right, I'm sorry if I didn't. So I guess all I have left to say is thank you for watching if you've made it this far into the video. This was my first attempt at vlogging, kind of vlogging, I guess this counts as vlogging, but um, I don't know if I'll do more, so I'm not going to ask anyone to subscribe or anything, but yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want to see something else that Livy and I get up to. So thanks and goodbye!